Okay, second take on this. What we are doing here is looking at a project that started on the 2nd of October 2023. I'm using MS Project, I think, 2021. And we have marked it up to date. And today's date is, of course, the 16th of November. And there we go. And I've included the percentage complete column. But this video is about the visual report. So I'm here on report. The first one I tried was a disaster. So let's have a look at visual reports here. Now notice you have Visio and all Excel reports. Okay. And I'm going to go with a very um, simple resource usage report uh, with resource cost summary report. Okay, so it's simply going to generate a pie chart. You can have a work summary report as a column chart. Okay, resource availability report. That's a Visio flow chart. That really is cool, but unfortunately, I don't have Visio. I do have the online version, but I don't have okay, the rest. These are really nice. I've done these before. When I get Visio, it'll be good. All right, so if we look at assignment usage over here, and we see budget cost report, this is budget work report, this is earned value over time. That really looks exciting. Your classic ACWP, BCWP, and BCWS. Um, but unfortunately, it doesn't come out like that. Really don't like that. Uh, it would be great if it did. But here I'm going to be looking at budget cost report and Let's view that, and it'll generate it in Microsoft Excel. It is notoriously iffy, this, the visual reports, but here we go. We're in Excel. And right, second take on another screen recording software, simply because ClipChamp didn't help me with the first. So here we have that Excel report that's been generated. I want to change the design of that I want to change to a three-dimensional chart. There we go. One of the things I did mention earlier and have to now mention again is that if you want to insert labels, it's not good. You have to play a bit of a trick. So click on the actual column, go to design over here, add chart element, and it will then just say uh, data labels none. That's your only option. Okay, data labels or more. If you choose more, then it actually puts the amount there. Okay, so that really they really need to work on that. Add chart element, data labels, and again, put the amount there. So my cost is eighty six four hundred, and my actual cost is seventy five two forty. And then what I can do from that point is I can either print or save it as a PDF. Let me go file. Or we can print it to PDF if you want as well. Okay and uh, Microsoft print to PDF there we go and print and we'll place the PDF into my let's just put it on my desktop let's see what it looks like okay oh sorry file name budget cost report there we go and saved okay now I do have Foxit on my on my machine, but it's not opening automatically. So let's see what this looks like. There we go. There it is over there. Okay, and yes, it looks okay. <laughs> I was about to say beautiful, but it looks okay. All right, there's some issues up there, etc. But yeah, there's my budget cost report. Well done.